Hello, historians. Now we're going to get into some of the real meat of studying civilizations of the past. As I pointed out last week, the three major areas of emerging civilizations were here, Africa, Egypt, India over here, the Indus Valley, and right here in Mesopotamia, where the Tigris and Euphrates River come together right here. That's the area we're going to study this week. Mesopotamia. The word Mesopotamia means land between rivers. And today, the people over there in present-day Iraq still sometimes refer to them as Mesopotamians. Bigger picture. Ancient people. This area right here in Mesopotamia is part of a larger region called the Fertile Crescent. It begins right here and extends all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. Right here, the Fertile Crescent. Very fertile land, rich soil, good for farming. Moderate temperatures, ideal for the birth of civilizations. The Fertile Crescent, in Mesopotamia, right here, is the cradle of civilization, the beginnings of civilizations. On Monday and Tuesday, you're going to start on the first civilizations in Mesopotamia, which have occurred right here in a place called Ur, right here. And there were several little city-states along the Tigris and Euphrates River that developed there. A city-state is a city that is operated as if it were a single country. They were not part of a large area. Each city had its own government, unrelated to other governments. That's why they called them city-states. You're going to learn about the ge geography of the area and how the... Uh, People were able to use advancements in technology to improve their farming, irrigating soil. And the second part of that section, you're going to learn a little bit about their religion. The people in Mesopotamia, as most ancient peoples of that time were, polytheist. That means they believed in many gods, poly meaning many. They were polytheist. If you believe in just one god, you would be a a monotheistic society, monotheist, mono meaning one. So they believed in many gods, and they constructed large temples to their gods called ziggurats. You'll learn about that later. Their advances took several hundred years, but they learned how to develop a writing system. And later on next week, you will learn about their writing system called cuneiform. And we'll have a little fun activity to do with using cuneiform writing. I hope you enjoy our lessons. We'll finish up the week with a video and a worksheet. Usually students do quite well on the video worksheets, and that brings a grade up. A short video. Hope you enjoy it. Remember, keep messaging me if you have any questions. Make sure you get all the older assignments caught up, because the work we're doing this week is going to be graded on quarter two. So make sure all those delinquent assignments are caught up. If you have any questions, message me. Thanks. Have a great week.